Cyberpunk is still looking amazing. And whilst the Night City Wire reveal didn't really show off too much of the new stuff, some content creators were given four or five hours hands-on with the game, or choosing to do completely different things. One thing they all seemed to agree on though was quite how good Cyberpunk is. I've collated a ton of details, combined it with some new gameplay from the game's prologue, and that's what I wanted to talk about today. So make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to ensure you don't miss any future Cyberpunk videos. So first off, you'll create a character from a pretty in-depth character customization screen. You'll be able to customize hair, voice, scars, tattoos. A few of the creators have even mentioned the ability to edit the teeth on your character, which I don't think I've ever seen in a game before. And yes, there is also a genital customization. I know there has been a lot of questions surrounding this topic for some weird reason, but you have a variety of options you are able to choose from. You'll also have some stats to choose from, which I won't go into too much as it's pretty much the same as any RPG game out there. These are split into things like body, which is your health and stamina, reflexes, which is your speed and agility, intelligence, which is problem solving, and all the sort of things you'd expect to see really. I mean, I am simplifying this element of customization here. There is a lot of depth to the abilities. You can create some really crazy builds depending on what you're going for. There is also a stat for street cred, which isn't something that you are able to spec into, but that is something that is accrued whilst you play the game, which you can then use to buy things later in the game as a sort of currency. Certain vendors won't deal with you until you have enough street cred. Once you've created your character, you'll have to choose from one of three backstories, Nomad, Street Kid, or Corporate. I don't think these will have any kind of long-term effect on the game. The central narrative will most likely be the same for everyone, with a few variations along the way. So Nomad is kind of life on the road, looting scrapyards type of backstory, which values honesty and integrity. Street Kids are pretty obvious ones, grew up on the street, in gangs, love firearms, all that sort of stuff. And finally, the corporate, who are the super rich. These guys exploit the street, weaponize information, and will do pretty much anything in their power to make sure that they win. So these choices will influence how you start Cyberpunk and give you different options when you're talking with NPCs, depending on which option you have chosen. These stories will also change how you come across Jackie, who will be your partner across a lot of the missions. The Nomad opening starts outside of Night City in the Badlands, where you're asked to fix a car and then somehow you'll end up in a car chase and a shootout. The Street Kid backstory starts with you having to fix your broken nose in a mirror. You're then asked to steal a car and save your friend who's gotten themselves into a spot of trouble. And the corporate backstory will have you star in an apartment where you'll be asked to take someone out and then meet Jackie at a bar which will take a flying limo to. I'm not sure which backstory I'm going to choose to be honest, I'm stuck between the street kid and nomad. Let me know down in the comments what you think you're going to start the game as, I'd be interested to see what you're going to go for. Once you've got past the initial opening of the game, which will take around 30 to 40 minutes, you'll then move into the prologue, and that seems to be the same across the board. Moving on to the game itself then, the world is quite huge. It's five areas surrounded by a sixth called the Badlands, and the depth in the world just sounds incredible too. There are people getting in fights, talking about elections, just a crazy amount going on everywhere you look. There's also a ton of side missions and bounties available on your map. All of these will have a level associated with them, so you know when you can realistically attempt these missions without getting steamrolled. The loot all seems to have different rarities on it. There's greys, greens, purples and yellows, so a pretty familiar system from common items all the way up to your legendaries or epics. Everyone seems to have a really good impression of the guns. They all have different perks, mod slot, customization slots, so you can get five rolls of the same gun and all can be completely different. I mean, there's a sniper that can shoot through walls, can shoot through cover. There's another gun that can ricochet bullets. There is just a ton of crazy stuff that I can't wait to try out. You are also able to craft stuff and modify your weapons, so there's a lot of stuff you can do to customise your weapons as well. I haven't really come across any information about melee weapons or anything along those lines yet though. Not sure if anyone used those or not. I haven't even mentioned the Ripper Doc yet. These are people who can augment your body. You can add implants to enhance your character. So these can be put anywhere. Eyes, head, fingers, arms. There just seems to be a limitless amount of customization within this game. Driving was another thing everyone seemed to talk a lot about, saying that it felt okay, but could do with a little more work with the car being a touch hard to control. It just needs a little fine tuning. 
You will be able to summon your car by pressing one of the buttons on the D-pad and it will come to you, meaning you can then just hop in and go wherever you need to go. Overall, the first impressions of the game seem to be amazing, which is really good to see, albeit these people only managed to play the game for four hours, which doesn't really seem like enough time to do anything in Cyberpunk. So no doubt there is a lot more that this game will offer. Thanks as ever for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe so you don't miss any future Cyberpunk videos. And I shall see you guys again soon.